Okay. Today, hi, Laura and Izzy here. And today we are making frosting for gingerbread men. And here we have a nice cake. Woo! Let me out. You want to show? Show off our work. We have a nice plate here of gingerbread men and stars that we've made. Right? Israel's been waiting to eat one. Mm. Here we've got. This one was well designed, Mom. Thank you. We did them all with just white frosting because I like the classic look of that. We, um. Mm. We're documenting this on video because last night my little brother Stephen, little brother was here and he caught me making gingerbread men. Caught me, I say. Not only did he catch me, but when we went to our mother's house later on, the one of the first things he said to her was, Mom, Laura was making gingerbread men and she didn't make a video. And my mother said, Laura, why didn't you make a video? And so I'm in big trouble now. <laughs> because even in your middle age, your little brother will always, always still rat you out to your mother. Remember that before you go and have a pack of little brothers. Oh, here's a little brother now. Hi, Basil. Hi. Do you want a cookie, Basil? Basil just rolled out of bed. So... These are our frosted cookies. You've got to have a nice special icing or frosting. See, I can stack these on top of each other and the icing doesn't come off onto the other cookies. That's what's important. We have here a tray of gingerbread hearts and stars and gingerbread individuals. Mom, this what? one doesn't really have that much taste. It doesn't have that much taste? Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, because there's not that much frosting. Because there's not that much frosting. They like a lot of frosting. They like them basically dipped in the frosting. But since I was in control of the frostings this morning, they aren't dipped. They just have some nice, artful, tasteful frosting. So, there are lots of different ways to make gingerbread icing. Um, the whip. Frosting. Let's get to the frosting. The way that we make it, the way that we make it. Mom. Yeah. That was what I said when we were doing the hair detangler. I know. When You're... we were talking about stuff and then I was just getting bored. <laughs> anyway, our ingredients are powdered sugar, mm -hmm. vanilla, milk. Now, I've made this icing with water and it works. I've made it with some lemon juice and it works, but this is kind of my favorite way to do it. So this is how I'm doing it. I've read people make it with whipped egg whites. Um, it's called royal icing. So there's some official royal icing recipes that you could look up if you really wanna do it right and well and what have you, but this works. So we're gonna say this is right. I have such you know self-esteem issues. Why don't I think this is right? This is right. It works. It's worked for years. I love it. If you want to make it colored, exactly. I'm gonna do food coloring. Hold, first. hold your horses. Hold your horses. You're not putting the vanilla in. So I just. This is more of a consistency issue. So I don't really measure it out. I've just poured some powdered sugar. This looks like a real. I'm just gonna put just a couple drops of vanilla and a couple a couple drops of milk. Put in the milk no if you put in the milk you're gonna end up drowning it and then we're gonna have to put in so much powdered sugar and I mix and it's not until we get it mixed up really that we're gonna know if we put the right amount in because I have found sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't you know, that it forms straight away or not. That's right. Thumbs up. Like putting in a little more milk and we're stirring until we get a paste. We're looking for a nice 
paste consistency. What's your name? Getting something for battle. Okay. Nice paste consistency. Uh, <laughs> there you go. We're getting pasty here. See, look, like blop, blop, blop. I like it like that. You can make it a little thinner. I've made it a little thinner. It doesn't dry quite so well. So, beautiful. We have a sandwich baggie. What are sandwich bags? Sandwich bags are plastic bags like this that you can put a sandwich in if you need to carry it outside of the house. I usually put them in plastic con um, containers though. We don't usually use sandwich bags because the sandwiches get smushed and then nobody wants to eat them. But as icing bags, I love sandwich bags. You can buy a real icing tool at the store. Buy it. You can make icing tools out of cones of paper or so I've read. I've never done this. I don't trust myself. I feel like I make a big enough mess with the sandwich bag method. Okay, so I close my bag, which helps it from shooting out the top. It's not foolproof though. Sometimes it still shoots out the top but closing the bag helps. And what we do is we snip just the tiniest, oh, teeniest, tiny, impossibly small corner off the edge of the bag. I can't find that piece. No, I know, I'll clean it off later. To uh, just make the, the icing drip out. And then we can write. Or you could put um, frosting and then food coloring in. We can write and decorate our cookies. Yes, you could put food coloring in while you were stirring it. Um, no. and this, no, I don't want well, drink. you want a drink? All right. Um, well, we're going to have to go get a drink here in a second. Aww. But we've got, we've got you up and rolling. Cut a little corner of the sandwich bag out, and you can. <laughs> Curious George has made an appearance. But in our house, Curious George got a nickname. Oh, but that's just silly. Well, before that, his name was Monkey Sausage, which cracked me up. Wait, no, it was Sausage Monkey. Sausage Monkey. Anyway. <laughs> We you can think of a next name by the sky. <laughs> <laughs> it's our polyfield friends have come to enjoy gingerbread individual morning. As we get ready for Santa Claus comes and visits our house. We might leave him a gingerbread man. Or a normal cookie. <laughs> there you go. Pretty simple. Is we have normal? our gingerbread person. Now he's going to sit and dry for a while until we can touch him and the icing doesn't come off. And then we will eat, eat, eat. Right? This one looks like Excellent. It has a lot. So that's it. Someday, when I'm old and senile and I can't remember how to make my icing like I was earlier this month and I couldn't remember how to make it now, I have a video to remind me. Powdered sugar, vanilla, milk, until it's the right consistency. You can do it with water. It doesn't come out as great, but it comes out okay. Little lemon juice, fine. Egg white, I'm not dicking around with all that. I'm just not. There we go. Talk to you later. Bye.